This week on Sailor Stories, we're with Neil and Jill on their Bavaria 49 called Alice May. Okay, so we are here with uh, Neil, Jill, and uh, their two daughters. And um, they just started a liveaboard full time. Uh, Life, isn't it? Yes. yes. About two, three weeks ago. Um, yeah. We left. We left the UK on the 18th of September. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's now the. Yeah. What's the date today? It's. Uh, you lose track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've already lost track of the time. Yes, yeah. we have. <laughs> I know so, it's Monday. <laughs> so, what made you decide to go on this life? Um, that whole life is short thing, really. Just always working, you know, and just not feeling content in life and just wanting something more. Yeah. A bit more I, of an I adventure, really. You get a bit tired of the sort of commute and the nine to five and all yeah. that, really. Well, yeah, I think it's that's, that's the thing. You go to work to pay mortgage and then there's not very much left at the end of it. And no. um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, so um, yeah, we just, and we, the, I mean, obviously we, huge inspiration from people like yourselves and yeah. other YouTube channels that um, we watched over the years. Um, and you always, well, we met at sea, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did, yeah. And uh, you always said when we, uh, we, we just came ashore that uh, you always wanted to sail off into the sunset, yeah, didn't you? And I, I always said, don't be silly, people don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and of course people do that. And yeah. then we just, it was about two and a half years ago, we just had that kind of, you know, that light bulb. Yeah, yeah, we did. Eureka, we just yeah. kind of thought, hang on, you can do this. Other yeah. people do it. And yeah, so we decided we would sell the house and yeah. sell pretty much does, everything does we Does that had. worry you? Yeah. At the end of you that you lost your capital in your property? Um, not overly. A little bit, but not overly. Because I, don't, I think it's kind of unique to the UK, that whole must own a property thing yeah, when actually sure, yeah. most of Europe yeah. rent you yeah. know and I'd be quite happy to rent because yeah. then you don't have the maintenance issues you can just ring someone up and say this is broken come and fix it yeah. it you know owning property is good don't get me wrong but I'm not 100% focused on that anymore I was at one point in my life but now actually I'm at that age yeah. where actually it really doesn't bother me I mean we, we so, were we were lucky that we sold the property and we had a little bit of equity yeah. and that's why we could yeah. buy yeah. this and yeah. have a little bit of uh, money in the pot to, yeah to, but it's the way of through, uh, yeah. using the capital that you've built up in a house isn't it yeah actually, absolutely yeah. to go off and do something and yeah. enjoy it definitely yeah. because uh, yeah, uh, yeah life is all about living it is yeah. absolutely that yeah. 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 yeah yeah the other thing as well actually is actually spending meaningful time together with the kids yes. in a nice environment yeah. you know whereas in the uk they would come home from school you know we would come home from work it was dinner time hour may, hour maybe in front of the television and then Bed, and I, th I think as well we spent a lot of time um, sort of renovating properties yeah. and it was always, you never felt you really should go out and enjoy yourselves because it was always this Something to do and that to do. Yeah. It was always jobs yeah, to yeah. do. Um, and I think over the years we, we never were never really able to enjoy family holidays, no. financially really. Um, so we kind of thought, you know, perhaps they've not that they've missed out but you know perhaps th this is this is a time now to um, make oh. amends on that and yeah. uh, do, a bit, of, do a bit of a, an holiday. adventure so, so you were never actually attached to your family home so that made it kind of a bit easier did it uh not i d i wasn't no not We'd, really we lived in our, our I mean, previous home for what, yeah. 10 or 11 years um and it was nice loved the place but it was only um, really nice just before we sold it, yeah. because that's how you do it, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah, is you, you put yeah, up with all these yeah, things for years, did, don't yeah. you? And then when you come to sell, you think, right, I'm going to make this something special. Yeah. You bought the boat in, uh, uh, in the Hamble? In Southampton, yeah. Southampton. Sh yeah, Shamrock so, Quay. Uh, what was it like the very first night you went down to the boat and you slept on it for the very first time? It was good, wasn't it? I enjoyed it. It was, yeah, yeah it was kind of, wow, this yeah. is it. After all of yeah. this... This, yeah. you know, last couple of years. Was it a feeling of freedom or you were uh, afraid of the uh, life? Of no, no, def no Not def afraid, definitely, no, definitely, yeah, it, it felt good. I don't, I don't think we said, think didn't we, we didn't have any regrets about yeah. selling the, the property um, that we had and yeah, I think it was just that, that like you say, that freedom and yeah. that kind of, wow, we've actually achieved this. We've yeah. we've set yeah. out to do something and, and it, yeah. you know, it's, it's hard work. Yeah, it it's, is, it's it is. It's tough. Um, 
for me it was yeah. a sort of sense of relief that actually we got there we've got a boat you know we've gone through the whole thing of survey and insuring it and everything all the boxes you have to tick on the way to boat ownership mm. and really that you know probably was the first time in probably 20 years really wasn't it that actually we haven't had anything to do no house to do up no project mm. ongoing yeah. at that yeah. stage you know yeah. and it was, it was yeah. quite nice yeah. just it, to it sort was, of stop yeah. and take stock yeah. of it you know yeah and like so. you say that sort of that sense of accomplishment and, and also you've been through all the anguish I'd, I'd imagine of getting rid of everything yeah, selling it right. getting yeah. rid of things sorting yeah. it all out because you have so much stuff when you live in it yes. you do yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, totally. yeah that was difficult i think for me M much more difficult for <laughs> you than yeah. it was for uh, me you know, I'm yeah. a bit of a you collector of, of decision, stuff. Yeah. You're yeah. Um, going to sell it, you're going to give it away, or you're going to yeah. bring yeah. it with yeah. you. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing is, um, because we were doing this, um, well, I was going to say a lot A lot of it was came that sort of selling it, things yeah. came after during COVID, didn't it? So yeah. so when we might have been going to car boot sales and things, um, we, we couldn't do no. that, could we? Um, but we gave a we gave a lot to charity. Yeah. They had yeah. a man. they probably thought, oh no, they're here again. <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, the, we we gave a lot to um, a, a local charity in Pool. Yeah. Um, and um, we sold a few bits. We sold and, the big yeah, stuff, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, like furniture things. and things like that. We yeah. sold um, a lot of the smaller stuff. Was just. Uh, but we still have two two uh, units. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we still have two one. storage yeah. units. We have yeah. one, but it's a very um, small one. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we need to go back at some point yeah. and focus on that, don't we? Yeah, and, uh, we don't need get a lawnmower. So from, the, uh, from Shamrock Key up in uh, Southampton Water, yeah. you went down to Pool. We did, that's correct. Yeah. Did yeah. you stop off on the way? No, no? just did a day sail straight went down. down to um, we did a lot of jobs at Shamrock Key, like started off with the lithium battery install, mm. the solar arch, the bimini and spray hood. So once those jobs were done, because they were all sort of centric to Southampton, yeah. um, it was the good opportunity then to move the boat to pool to tie up the loose ends in mm. pool really because mm. that's where our home was yeah. so yeah. although we didn't really tie up well it was many, difficult again with the covid we? thing yeah. because we bought the boat well by the time we had the survey done in sort of beginning of june um and we had to basically commute from pool to southampton yeah. basically on a daily basis which was was a bit um, well the marina wasn't allowing you to yeah. sleep on it when we first um, bought it yeah because oh, of COVID. Yeah, not until yeah, yeah i think when did we Buy it was it, it was June yeah pretty much. and it was something like July the fourth before they would actually let you yeah. stay yeah. overnight and on we, your boat we couldn't get it into pool again because of well one because we were a bit big for um, yeah. most of the marinas in pool this is a, and just to clarify, this is a Bavaria 49 49 yeah, yeah. and it's okay. uh, what is it a, two, it's a bit big for the UK isn't it? It, it well yeah. by standards around the Solent it's not that big in the Solent is it but pool harbour standards yeah. it's quite big and there was only really two options of berths there and one was didn't have any availability and the other was had sort of a covid we're not open yeah till you know, july till july policy yeah. so and by that point we'd sort of already started committed to jobs in southampton yeah. and yeah. Um, but it was nice actually it was nice to be able to get her down a first of september yeah um we took her down to yeah. pool and it was it was nice actually to actually leave from yeah. there it was yeah. nice having it was another tick in the box yeah. really wasn't it? And it was it? nice it was having like, sort of family and friends yeah. you know, to yeah. wave us off which is yeah. was nice. And then yeah. uh, you had quite an interesting journey down here didn't you? <laughs> yeah just a bit. <laughs> um, it was good really I mean it was all right but we had the first 24 hours out of pool we came non-stop from the plan was non-stop pool to Gibraltar. Which is uh, must be Biggest part of a thousand miles. It's about one thousand two hundred and thirty-eight miles. I think, miles, I think, I think, I think we've done. I think no, we've done one thousand two hundred to here, haven't we? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's thirteen sixty-eight or something. I've yeah, got it yeah. downstairs on the on the nav stuff. But um, but we, yeah, the plan was to come direct pool to Gibraltar. Um, but not not on our own. No, we, we did have a, 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 a RYA Ocean Yacht Master with us. And yeah, the first twenty-four hours out of pool and down the channel, we had a sort of consistent force eight. Um, which wasn't too bad. It was a little bit uncomfortable coming out of the harbour in pool. It was quite. I think it, it was quite unexpected. It was. I think a, we were all seasick. Yeah, we were. <laughs> to, yeah, <laughs> even, even I was seasick. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was. Well, you, the, that entrance of pool can be quite dubious. Yeah, yes, oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it a lot was, of overfalls. It was very, and, yeah. Um, but once once yeah. we'd rounded Portland Bill, really, it wasn't too bad then, was it? And yeah. coming down the channel, it was behind us, so it was quite, you know, it was a lot better. But yeah, the Swash Channel at Pool was awful. <laughs> and, um, and the, but the Bay Bay of Biscay was fine, yeah, Bay of Biscay Absolutely. was great. That was yeah. that's a bit that people, you yeah. know, everyone's worrying about. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah. you know, but it, that was 
that was lovely. Yeah. That was, you know, had it was nice. Motor, had to motor for 24 hours in the middle of the bay because there was no wind. Yeah. It was like a sheet yeah. of glass. And it was yeah. nice. We had uh, yeah. dolphins and... Uh, wow. Early, yeah, yeah. dolphins early. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Months, yeah. months before we had dolphins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no. Well, Simon, the, yeah, uh, the yeah. skipper, he kept saying how lucky we were yeah. that uh, we we saw quite a lot of dolphins, yeah. they, yeah. which was nice. Um, you caught a tuna. I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, we, we Flute, went six that months was. without catching yeah. fish. Yeah. 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 I'll give you some tips if you like. <laughs> <laughs> this is first time, yeah, isn't it? Was. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it's uh, beginner's luck, I'm sure. Yeah. So that was. Yeah, and then the last twenty-four hours really were the ones where it went. Not wrong as such, but it was really uncomfortable, wasn't it? We had a low developed in the Bay of Biscay behind us, quite a significant low. I was sort of surging six to seven metre waves down the coast of Portugal. And then we were a long way west, but obviously when we made the turn to come in to round the Cape, um, basically at about midnight, I mean, I was asleep on there, I wasn't you actually on watch when it happened, but there was an almighty bang from the starboard wheel and it started spinning on its own and then... Um, Simon and Mike said, oh, it's okay, autopilot will be fine. And then there was another almighty bang and um, they all basically ended all three steering chains and snapped. So I awoke, um, well, you woke me up and I came upstairs and um, we were on the emergency tiller, but struggling somewhat because it doesn't mm -hmm. really fit between the wheels very yeah. well. So we then had to remove both wheels. So this, this was midnight. Yeah. yeah. The, the boat was like this. We were looking. Yeah. Did you actually yeah. round up into wind? Uh, we had a crash dive actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And at that point, the radar was torn off the mast Ooh. as the as the Genoa went across. I mean, we were reefed, but I think in the sort of commotion of everything going on, somehow the furling line was let go, and the, she unfurled totally, and yeah, and ripped off the uh, radar. I saw the radar go. Actually, I saw it disappear into the sea which was heartbreaking because they're not cheap items are they <laughs> so um and yeah once we once we rounded the cape on the emergency tiller it, it wasn't too bad really no. it, the wind suddenly dropped and actually it became quite pleasant sun was coming up um 4G signal came back, which was quite really? nice after eight days. <laughs> you know, every, everyone was like, "Yeah, exactly. that's right. Yeah, yeah." That was that was nice actually yeah. on the Saturday morning, actually yeah. sort of sailing and actually seeing land for, yeah. the, for the first time in eight days. Which and it, is, and which it was, was nice. pure fluke that we ended up here because actually mm. before we left mm. Pool, a chap on a, a Halberg Rassi with a channel named Yellow Matilda, yeah, I think it was, on yeah, on Instagram, gave me an almanac of this area. And when I said we were going to Jib, he said, oh, you, you, can, you can have this book, this guide. Mm. And it was actually very fortunate that he did because that's how we were able to look through it and yeah. select Portimao <laughs> as the destination of choice when you're on emergency tiller. Now we just come downstairs into Alice May and Jill's going to give us a little tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you've got your telly. Yeah, we've got the yeah. telly, we've got the saloon, we've got um, quite a lot of storage. We've got storage under here for kitcheny bits and bobs. We've got a freezer under here. Wow. Yeah. Just a little freezer. Hmm? Uh, Neil's, the lithium batteries are all under there. Yeah. And then you've got two half cabins. Yeah, we've got. Two, and that's uh, the heads. Yeah, two girls' cabins. Oh, they get they they both get the back the the, the stone cabins, do they? Yeah. Which yeah. are doubles, really. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, they're almost pretty much king size. Yeah. Uh, they narrow in a little bit. And but, and yeah. the headroom isn't too bad underneath. No, you know, it's, it's not like in a coffin. It's no, it's not too bad. And then they've each got um. They've each got their bathroom. Bathroom, yeah. 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 We still call it bathroom and bedroom. I know. <laughs> I know. Some perspex on there because it just it was a bit of a. Yeah. Mess where the people have put yeah. different things yeah. in, so that's everything yeah. we need here. And then we've got the yeah, here's the galley. The galley, which we've got your sinks. We've got a fridge. Yeah. Quite a decent size one yeah. there. And then we've got the fridge here. We've got um, my makeshift IKEA yeah. chopping board yeah. because it, it didn't have the. No. This was missing, so we did that. And then we've got a big storage there. And uh, it's amazing actually what you can, you know, you can squeeze quite a lot in that one. This is our hallway so we've got if I open this. Okay. So that's a so that's twin cabin. A, yeah that's yeah. um bunk cabin in there which you use a storage I, obviously pretty much yeah, yeah at the moment. And then you've got another one over there. And then this one in here. Yeah. Wow. So this one's a bit bigger so it's not a bad size that one actually. Um and in here well, I'm gonna show you this. So in here it's not it's, it's actually not plumbed in yet. Da -da. Oh. Da -da -da. That's our washing machine. <laughs> so it's just a little 
Yeah. Yeah. Little yeah. top top loader, but um, yeah. that'll be. So is that two twenty? Yeah. Or is it twelve? Two twenty, I think. This is the. Uh... And then yeah, so then this is our. They've got a bigger room than you. They have, yeah. Although that bed again, it's very wide. Yeah. It it does. It does go in a little bit, but um, it's uh. Yeah. It's, it's not bad at all. The only thing you're missing is a cat. Yeah. Yeah. And no, then we've sorry. Oops. I was going to say, and then we've got our. Uh, um, Let's ask the girls a couple of questions. Yeah. So, uh, how how excited were you when you first found out you're going to live on a boat? Um, very. It was about a week before the end of the summer holidays. Yeah. I wanted to go by Monday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't want to go back to school? No. No. Yeah. Wow. And uh, what's been the most exciting thing that's happened? Do you think? Because it's only three weeks, but in this three weeks. I like seeing the dolphins. Yeah, yes. dolphins. Everybody loves the and dolphins. Stars. Yeah. And the stars. And the stars. Yeah, yeah. there's just so many. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because of the, there's no uh, light pollution, no. so yeah. you can see so much. It's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. So you're still excited? You still no regrets at all? No. Yeah. What about school friends? Again, you missing your friends? Yeah, yeah. 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 But, but social like, media. Yeah, yeah. Some every day. Yeah. 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 And how about the dreaded schoolwork? How are you going to cope with that? Okay. <laughs> so far. It's a bit of a slow start, I have to say, but we we were, we were good at it in quarantine, so it's yeah, it's fine. Yes. good preparation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was a good preparation yeah. already. Yeah, that's true. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. So, what are your uh, what are your plans moving forward? Um, at the moment, we're we're planning to winter here, um, and then yeah. Well, originally we were like the, the plan was to go to Gibraltar. Um, Mike and Simon were gonna. Uh, fly home from there and then we were going to sail around to Almiramar in uh, Spain um, but we really like it here yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. yeah. I, I understand that because Portugal I'm, I'm, I'm just taken blown away yeah. it's, it's yeah. stunning Portugal. isn't it it's yeah stunning. it is yeah. absolutely yeah. you haven't really been out and seen it yet no, no we, that's no, right. we yeah, haven't yeah. even, even amazing, just, uh, yeah. caves around yeah, yeah. Just, just ten minutes. From yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the yeah. Um, the climate, obviously, this this uh, weather. I mean, where are we? Whatever it is in in October now, and we're mm. in shorts I and t-shirts, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. the poor amazing. UK is getting battered yeah. <laughs> with, yeah, yeah. with terrible true. weather. Um, and it's yeah, people are really friendly. I yeah. mean, when we came, and obviously we needed um, repairs yeah. and things done. People yeah. have been amazing. Yeah, they have. Yeah, um, absolutely. And, well, I think yeah. the the long term plan is to push further into the Med. Yeah. Next season, yeah. I'd yeah. like to get over to Greece definitely. Yeah. There's a lot to see in Greece, isn't yeah. there? But it'd be nice to um, do the Balearics up and across to Corsica and Sardinia, yeah. down the Italian coast yeah. and, and across that way. Yeah. Would be my, my Just take preferred. our time and yeah, sort of that's see right. as much yeah, as yeah. we can. Well, really. Absolutely. That could be the whole summer. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely and that. Probably winter yeah. in Greece next yeah. year, actually. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, so, they yes. say south of, south of Sicily, Sicily is very good yes. for wintering. Yes, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. I've heard that and, as well. And uh, yeah. also Crete, they say. No, okay. They're very good. Yeah. yeah. Which isn't a bad spot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm. Excellent, okay. Well, thank you very much. And you, you're, you're thinking of doing a YouTube channel, aren't you? We are. <laughs> yes, we are indeed. Yeah, it'll be... So um, what's the name of the... It's going to be Sailing Alice May. Right. Because um, obviously the, the the boat is named after Martha Alice and Sadie May, so that's ah, their middle name. Right. So yeah, um, so yeah, yeah. YouTube channel. We should have our first video going out in the next few days. Um, well, you have you have. To I have edited it. it. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's it's very basic, but it's a start. And uh, yeah, great. And we've got Instagram and Facebook and all of that under the same name. So yeah, fantastic. Yeah, well, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you. And it's Thank been you. really yeah. great meeting you. Meeting Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because we've 